Welcome. Welcome. Indeed, indeed. Well, uh, my name's Tony Byrne. I'm from the Resource Corporation here in Melbourne, Australia, and uh, we are talking to the very lovely Duncan Fry from ARX. Uh, Duncan's one of the uh, brains trust behind ARX products. They've been developing products for uh, audio, pro audio applications for some time, and one of their most unique products is the range of USB DIs, of which we have an example here. Yeah, these are fantastic little gadgets. It's USB in and transformer balanced audio out. Um, saves you having to use the mini jack on someone's computer to take audio into the PA or into the desk of any kind. Um, at small gigs it might be okay to yell out, just give it a wiggle! But at a giant <laughs> thing in an entertainment centre, uh, that's not the go. All you have to do is to plug it into your computer, it will instantly find it, and within about 30 seconds you'll be ready to go. Uh, uses the generic audio driver in Windows and Macintosh computers. Uh, it truly is plug and play. This is the USB DI VC, and VC stands for volume control, this knob on the front. And the beauty of the volume control is that you can adjust the output of the audio box to match up with the input of your channel. If it's a bit hot, you can knock it back. You don't have to touch the mixer. It also um, means that you can control it in very small systems. If you're using a couple of powered speaker boxes, this can be your volume control for the level of the music. So you wouldn't need a mixer in that instance, you, you could wouldn't. go straight into It'd the power boxes. It'd be a real okay. economy yeah. gig. Cool. Yep, you can use no mixer and this will do it. Uh, if you need a microphone, well a lot of powered boxes have a microphone input on the back anyway. Mm -hmm. You can leave this one, leave that up, this one can be going into the other inputs and it's giving you your whole control for the gig without having to use a mixer. Mm -hmm. Very, very easy. and. You notice it has a ground lift switch. What's that for? Well, that's to mainly stop the noise coming out of your computer. Uh, sadly, not all computer power supplies, and especially laptop ones, uh, are built very well. And it doesn't matter how much you pay for them, they just go <coughs> all the way through. And by doing this, this removes all noise carried down the ground or the earth, whatever you like to call it, um, or the audio ground or earth, um, in, into, into the system. And, by, and by, by pressing that, it lifts it out. With, with XLRs, so why go XLRs as opposed to, say, RCAs? Why, why are we doing that? Well, an XLR is the industry standard uh, connector. This is an output, and the female is the input. This will match up with the inputs on your mixer, and it's a balanced connector. It means it has a hot and cold, positive and negative, and a separate ground. So this is a transformer balanced unit. Inside here are two high quality audio transformers. This will give you the clean sound and total isolation from ground noise. Um, in major systems where you have big splitters, uh, they're often totally isolated with transformer. It's called galvanic isolation and it means that none of the noise that may be somewhere else is transmitted through that connection. So this is the way to go for true professionals and it gives you professional results. That's great and I guess also because they're XLRs that on a system where you're using a desk it means those channels will have faders so in yeah. the event that you don't have the, vo the volume control version yeah. then you'll be able to control uh, with more headroom on yeah, your, on your yeah. desk, oh, which yeah. you wouldn't be able to do with the RCA inputs on auxiliary channels. RCAs are a very basic connector, yeah. and uh, it's just it's an unbalanced connector. It can be noisy. It's not designed to be pulled in and out very often. Sure. So it's okay maybe in some studio situations, but on, in live situations, yeah. you want something more robust and yes. something with, well, with the isolation properties you were talking about. In live situations, things don't always get handled well, and people do step on them and things like that. Mm. A robust connector, which is why it's used, it, cool. it, it keeps working. 
Well, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Well, I think we've uh, we've covered a lot of ground on that. It does feel good as well. It is nice and heavy and chunky, and you can stand on it, which is uh, a nice thing to know. And it's a bit hard for someone to put in their pocket and take away. Mm. <laughs> I know, because I've tried. <laughs> I can't get it into my pocket. No, no. Oh, all right. <laughs> Well, I think we've covered uh, all the ground on the USB DIVC. Is that, is that a USB in your pocket or are you pleased it's to see me? <laughs>